Hey everyone, it's the Nins, and I'm back. And um, in case you can't tell, I have four cards here from Battle Styles. Um, off camera, I actually got two extra little booster packs from the store, and I opened them off camera and just wanted to kind of show off what I got. So there's a Reverse Hollow Galarian Mr. Mime, um, Reverse Hollow Tower of Darkness. I'll just pull this one. This Galarian Slowbro, it's not hollow, um, but I think it's just really, really pretty artwork with that sunset. And Galarian Slowbro is kind of, you know, obviously like the new, um, oh, what's the word? Like the type for, for the Galarian region variant, I think they call it. So um, I think it was worth sleeving and um, it's a little bit less common. So it's a cool card. And then last but not least, this hollow Ente. Um, this one was a nice pull for me. I surprisingly, it's not really worth too much. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not really surprised, I guess, but just it is cool. It's that reverse or the hollow um, Ente. It's legendary, and like I said before in my last video, I really like um, like the original generation Pokemon's first and second gen was are kind of the to me like one of the better designed and just have more nostalgia. So I'm really happy to have this card in my collection. So. I guess that's that. Just kidding. Surprise. Um, wow. I mean, okay. I can't, I got another Cramorant tin. I couldn't help myself. And so um, I didn't get all three again, but uh, actually this was the only one that was there and it's limit one when you buy it. So um, I couldn't help it. Had to get this Cramorant tin. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Um, I'm going to try for like a, a longer video. Uh, at first I was just kind of using these and sending them to like my uh, family, basically not really to any friends, but um, I was like sending it to my family to see if they liked my videos just kind of for fun. Um, but so I was sending them in shorter clips because obviously like when you send it on your phone over a uh, text message, it's a lot um, you can't like send a very long thing, like definitely not more than five minutes, if even that. But um, since I'm uploading to YouTube now, I think I'll go ahead and, you know, maybe just open a, at least half the box, if not the whole box. We'll see how it goes. So um, anyway, another Cramorant V. This is no surprise, of course. It's featured right there. I'll just put them. Well, I guess I'll put it like that. Um, so more Shining Fates. I love these cards so much. Um, very cool, um, cool set, I think. Like I said it before, no hate against battle styles, but um, like the cards you get there, they're cool. Like these four, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these, but I just feel like in comparison to what I got out of um, Shining Fates, there's just no comparison really. So let me just start off by kind of comparing weights here. I'm really bad at this, honestly. Like I said, my left hand always, no matter what's in my left hand, it feels like the heavier one. Um, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Um, maybe I'll just look at what's on the cover. I have two uh, Toxtricities, so, and two Corviknights. So let's start with those and then we'll save the rest of these. So, Toxtricity. These are sometimes hard to open. Maybe I'll open. Mm. There we go. I just washed my hands, but like they're a little bit slippery, so. Alright. And I have to try to get better. Like, I don't know how some of the people when they unbox these, here's the code. Um, they don't like ever seem to show. Like, you know how you can tell when in your last card, sometimes you can see a bit of the edge and it sort of spoils it. Um, so I'm going to try really hard not to do that. And when I pull them out, like try to keep the last one a little more hidden. But I feel like I already got a glimpse of an edge of this one. But uh, you guys just probably can't see it from home so or from um, YouTube. So, okay. Start with my energy. Rotom. Basic Rotom. Rusted Sword. I'm not really expecting much. It's interesting how these cards work. I guess they really do just like put all these duplicates um, 
so that you really have to get quite a few packs to to get anything that's like out of the ordinary because these are definitely like I probably have at least three to five of each of these now if not even more <laughs> like this cacnea <laughs> I feel like I no matter what I get cacnea um toodle I've had him too these are all oh oh really boom v max what oh my gosh oh is this what I could kind of tell I feel like I okay I don't want to jinx it I feel like there could even be something good behind this too just based on what I saw but maybe I was just looking at this but first of all let me just give this the attention it deserves a shiny Rillaboom VMAX oh my gosh this is so great this is so great this is I just like okay so I do love um like the hollow cards but um and I like I don't necessarily think like I'm such a huge fan of like regular VMAX and V cards per se with the full art but something about these like these really shiny glittery ones it must just be like the you know like a raccoon it's like you just love seeing something shiny like it just it stands out it's so pretty and then on top of it it's a shiny rillaboom and a starter and everything this oh my gosh this is already so great I can't believe this of course it's like my first pack so I don't know if things will go down from here but this is so worth it I better sleeve this really soon here but I just want to see okay the final card see that black border whoa I see I, I could kind of see the black border earlier and this is an indie dv For some reason I kind of feel like I had an indie dv before v I'm not sure but I don't think this art looks familiar definitely with this swirl um or hollow um indie dv um I don't I think this is like a new a new one but I think I actually have an indie dv or v max but it might have been from either battle styles or maybe it's like the other because I think there's a female and male so oh my gosh this is so this is a really good pack right here um totally worth it already in my opinion so let me just sleeve these up and um like I said earlier usually I'd be ending the video but I'm actually just gonna keep going so you guys can we can keep opening here wow these are awesome I don't think they're like, you know, of course, the, the ultimate pulls that everyone's looking for, but um, I'm just happy with anything like this, especially these shiny Pokemon are just so cool. Um, I kind of like, um, I have Sword and Shield and I got really into shiny hunting for a while. Um, my first shiny ever, like I never had done shiny hunting in any other Pokemon games before until I got Sword and Shield and they definitely made it like a lot easier um, and if you have the online, like, it's a lot easier to get in max raid battles that, um, somebody has already, like, done all the work for you and basically obtained a shiny. So that's not the only way I did shiny hunting, though. Like, I actually started the legit way with, um, just doing, um, battles over and over with, um, those little rookies in Route 1. And the very first shiny I got, I think, oh gosh, I can't even remember how many I had to battle. It was probably, like, definitely over 500 of them um over and over again and I finally got it and it was like such a it was a really it's kind of a cool moment you know you know it's like the old school way where you had to grind for it and back in the day I think you even it was even harder way harder um so yeah so I did that but honestly kind of after that I, <laughs> I probably shiny hunted more with like the max raid because I it's just easier to get but it's crazy even though it's a lot easier it's still like with how many Pokemon there are like 800 and um or so you know and in the game I think there's at least 600 700 in sword and shield um it just like takes forever like I'm still nowhere even close to getting all the shinies that are possible and then now I feel like I've started with these cards and then it's like oh you can start shiny hunting cards too or hollow hunting kind of but now there's even shiny hunting in, in the pokemon cards so in tcg so yeah, I'm not even sorry, like really naming these off because it's just really nothing exciting until the last two at this point. Um, so, okay, reverse hollow thievil. That's all right, not bad. It kind of looks like not very hollowy for some reason. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a very muted reverse hollow, but that's okay. And then my last card, dreadnought. Okay, and this is not hollow or anything I think I already have this card I'm not gonna sleeve it 
I barely even really want to sleeve this sleeveable, but I'm I'm just doing it. I don't know. Does do people actually collect their reverse hollows? I, I still don't know for sure if, if it's like something, but I guess because they're kind of more rare too. I think they're considered more rare. It's, it might be a cool thing, but okay. Well, that second pack was definitely not as good as the first, obviously, but you start off strong. I've still got four more packs to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode, and then in the next one, um, we'll open two more packs.